I really wanted to film this video today, but I was missing one thing and it just arrived. So that means we're here to do my post-holiday Mercedes shops. I don't really know what happened. Like I wasn't even really intending on buying things. You know where it all started is that I got a gift certificate to Credo for Christmas. And like the same day that I got it, I placed an order that night. Cause of course, you know, always have things that I'm interested to try and review on here. I did need to repurchase and kind of like replenish some products in that product category or look for alternatives in that product category. You know how it goes. I'll preface this with saying that I have been on a weird quest, a very unusual for me quest over the last three or four months. I posted about this on Instagram in that I normally am so into bold lips. I mean, and I still am, I always will be, but I've been very like laser focused on wanting to find the perfect nude pink, peachy pink, milky pink in that family as part of like a capsule makeup approach. To be honest with you in my quest so far, nudes and pinks are more difficult than bolds. I'll be honest. I, maybe it's cause I've been wearing bold lipsticks for a while, but I find bolds so much easier to wear and find and like than nudes. So we're gonna get into all of that with what I'm gonna show you here today. So there's a Credo order, a Sephora order, and then my Beautylish order, which just showed up. So everything is still packaged. So I'll kind of be like unwrapping it on camera. Like a few kind of random things I wanted <clears throat> to share with you relating to Christmas gifts. I'm not gonna show you. I, my family's not very big into gifts, but I wanted to share about some products I bought for somebody and then one of the things that my sister got me that I really like. And then I'm gonna end with some fun giveaway options for you that will be happening over on Instagram. I will have everything listed and linked down below for your reference. Also down below is a link to hop over to the L'Amour et La Musique page on Patreon if you guys have any interest in supporting the growth and development of my channel that is a way to do it. And there's lots of bonus content over there. I have reconfigured one of the levels to include sort of get ready with me Q and A live streams, which uh, Patreon now has a feature and inc has incorporated a feature for that, which I think is super exciting. And I've always wanted to do like Instagram lives, but I don't know. I like that on Patreon, it'll be a little bit more like intimate and it's kind of like, I don't know, like a little barrier to get through. So I know that we're kind of like simpatico, if that makes sense. I'll feel more comfortable doing it through there. I'm super excited to do that. All the info's down below. Let's talk about products. Okay, why don't we start with the Credo order since this was kind of what ignited my mini bender. So I ordered three things from Credo and with that order, they also had a promo where there was sort of like a little gift with purchase if you spent a certain amount, which I did. So I'll show you that as well. And there's a few interesting samples in there. So these are the three things that I decided to get from Credo. The first is a Kayer Weiss lipstick. And this is kind of, I guess, the focal point of everything I've been talking about with like trying to find like the perfect nude lip. I had been wanting to try a Kayer Weiss lipstick for a while. I mean, they've been out in the market for a while. I have heard sort of mixed things about them, but I intentionally just like really did not want to read a lot of reviews. To be honest, you guys, like I don't like doing a ton of research about products before. And I think it's because as someone that does share my reviews on video and on Instagram and stuff, I don't like to have biased impressions too much. The only time I really seek out reviews is for color matching, like shade matching swatches sort of stuff. I, I guess I say that to say there's a lot of like mixed reviews on these lipstick and in particular that they're just not worth it for the price. So of course, you know, it has this like gorgeous care Weiss packaging and they do like a nudie pink in this formula and it's in the shade Honor. I had been calling it Honest, I think, initially, but it's in the shade Honor. This is on my lips today. I am still playing around with it, forming opinions on it. The main thing is that it's a not a very user-friendly formula. If you try and apply directly from the bullet to your lips, it gets sort of gritty and bumpy and like it has texture on the actual lipstick. TT Sandra here on YouTube uh, gave me the tip on Instagram to warm it up on the back of your hand first and then apply to your lips with a lip brush. So I've been experimenting that way and it does mitigate the texture issues with the lipstick, but I'm sort of undecided. I do like the color, but here's the thing. Now that I'm getting into like nude lipsticks, I need a really good 
nude lip liner. All my lip liners are too dark for the kind of like milky nudie pinks that I'm interested in. So it's like a whole thing. I'm thinking about doing Rodan So Mod lip liner and lipstick. If you've tried that, let me know. Bite Sugarcane and Leche are on my list. Bite Multi Stick and Lotus is on my list. Fit Glow lipsticks are on my list. A bunch of people recommended those. So there's a lot of avenues to pursue. This is like uncharted territory for me, but this was dipping my toe in. It was quite a splurge, but you know, I had a gift certificate. So it's like, if you're not gonna splurge when you have a gift certificate, then like, when are you going to? Okay, then this was another item I had been wanting for quite a while. This is the Jenny Patinkin Kit and Paw Multi Brush. Now, in addition to being on a quest for nudie pink lips, I've been on an evolving quest over the last year and a half, probably, towards curating like my perfect makeup brush capsule. I'm very like, I'm very into editing and refining and like capsule approaches to life in general and makeup brushes are no exception. I got this because I wanted it for highlighter placement, like very precise powder highlighter placement. And I, I'm very happy with my Jenny Patinkin Petites set. Now those are, they're like a luxury synthetic brush, but her regular luxury collection are not synthetic. These are, I don't actually know what the hair is on these, probably squirrel, I would imagine. I've tried, I actually tried this to set my under eyes and I feel like it's a little small. I use my Wayne Goss O2 to set under my eyes. I'm excited to have this and I will find ways to use it. It's basically like I wanted the brush and I'm gonna find a way to like work it into my life. The last thing I got was the Well People Narcissist Foundation Cream Stick in shade one. Now, if you remember, if you've been watching for a while, I had this in shade three for like a couple of years. I had my makeup done by Shirley Pinkson, who is the, one of the founders of Well People. She did my makeup at a full lane event like several years ago and I ended up purchasing 03, which, you know, as always is the case, was too dark for me because this has also been a discussion I've been having with people in comments. I just feel when you have like multi-ethnic skin with complicated undertones that aren't necessarily what they appear to be, you don't get matched correctly very often slash ever. Um, and you kind of have to be your own advocate and do your own thing. So this is a much better match for my preference of how I like my base colors to wear on me than number three was. So this is Fair Pink shade one. So I bought this, not because I necessarily need another foundation stick, because I really don't, but because I'm going to be doing a foundation lineup video here on La Morello Musique in the next like couple of months. I mean, there's a few others I'd like to add and try, but I have a pretty solid lineup already going, and I knew that I had to include this one because I think it's such a great formula. I'm also currently using the Au Naturale foundation stick and the Vapor foundation stick, and to me, this is like a marriage and the best of both worlds of each of those. I really like it. It will feature in that foundation lineup video, and I'm happy to have it back in my life. I haven't even looked at what came in this little gift with purchase, but why don't we look at it together? So this is the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Smoke. I've always been sort of curious about these, so I will definitely try this. I'm always like, do I need to keep it or do I need to find a new home for it? Because you guys would not believe the amount of stuff I accumulate. Oh, I might end up having to give this away. I'm not even going to swatch it, honestly, because you know what this is very similar to? It's kind of like a, an icy gray taupe. I thought it was going to be like a black like a black gray sort, but um, this is very, very similar to Trish McAvoy Dove, which I have just by looking at it. So I'm not even gonna swatch it, and I think I'm gonna put this either to give away on Patreon or to include in one of the giveaways I'll be doing on Instagram. This is the Well People Expressionist Mascara, which I have tried in the past and it's okay, and I also am on complete mascara overload at the minute, so I'll probably give this away. And then this is an Ilia Lipstick Mini in Arabian Nights. This I think I am gonna try and use, actually, because that looks pretty. It looks sort of like a dupe for MAC Dubonnet, which was one of my very first and favorite bold lipsticks. Okay, one out of three, I guess is okay. Just a couple of samples, let's see. Uh, the Trilogy Rose Hip Oil. This is like their, oh, nice, this will be perfect. I've been doing so much traveling and I have like a ton of travel coming up over the next six months or so. So it's really nice to have on the go skincare. I will definitely use this. Allegedly, this is Kate Middleton's, like one of her favorite skincare products. Who knows if that's true or not, but 
That's what word on the street says. <laughs> this is a sample of the Neil's Yard uh, Frankincense Intense Lift Serum and the Ursa Major Golden Hour Recovery C Cream. Recovery Queen. <laughs> Recovery Cream. Okay, cool. So that was Credo. That was the thing that started it all on this crazy bender. <laughs> of mine. Okay, um, the next thing, actually, this was not part of the post-credo beauty splurging. Uh, this, I actually ordered these before I even left for holiday travel, and they are two polishes from the nail care brand Isla, which I am obsessed with, even more so after ordering these. I've been using the Isla Better Than Gel Top Coat for quite a while, I would say the last like six months. Absolutely love it. It was in my best of beauty 2017. This ties into like some upcoming content both on here and on Patreon. Okay, how do I like say this succinctly? Uh, these were two shades that I needed to fill in my nail polish collection. Now I have done a huge nail polish declutter. I basically almost halved my nail polish collection. I'm doing a big disappointing products video coming up and a clear out, but the nail polish is too much to include in that. So I basically just created a separate nail polish declutter video for Patreon that's going to go up when I publish the, the bigger disappointing products video here on YouTube. Now, this is related to all of this because I recently finished or like it became unusable. The trust fund Money Buys Happiness had been my previous like pale baby ballet pink nail color, which is like a must in my nail wardrobe. Needed to buy a new one. Bought a new one. The formula is completely different. I detail this uh, more in the nail polish clear out video. I needed a new ballet pink. So when I saw that Isla did one, uh, it's called Make Him Wait a Day. I decided to try that. And then as part of my nail polish declutter, I wanted to get rid of my Lauren B. Beauty Laurel Canyon Lover. Not because I don't like it, I do, but it's much too similar to one of my signature favorite colors, Deborah Lippman Single Ladies. On my nails, these look way too similar, and I felt like I was really missing just like a bright pinup cherry type of red. So enter Isla Serang, which I'm totally obsessed with. If you saw my Maya Chia review, I mentioned it there. I haven't tried Make Him Wait a Day yet, but this will be going on my nails probably next, but my first impression of Isla color polishes from Serang is so positive. Like I love it so, so much. And they also threw in one of their nail polish wipes, which I love. These were also in my best of beauty. My nail polish collection is undergoing some revamping. Already been recording for 15 minutes. Let's move on to Sephora quickly. Now, some of these were impulse purchases and I'm going to be returning some of it for sure. So I got this, I think yesterday. The first thing I decided to get is the Lila B A Glow Face Mist. So I busted this open yesterday and my first impression was, are you really going to charge me? The prices aren't on the thing. It was like close to $50, like in the 40 range, 48 maybe. I was like, are you really gonna charge me that amount of money for this size of product? Because in my mind, this was gonna be a replacement for my Josie Marin Argan Mist, which is in an empty products bag. I wish they still made that. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. I just like one to keep on my makeup vanity for kind of like re-moistening a beauty blender or doing like a makeup refresh. So that's what I bought this for. And this is so much more similar to like a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist type of product. So now I kind of understand why it's so expensive. I tried it last night just like randomly and I was like, I'm totally returning this. And then this morning after I did my makeup, I doused my face in this and then I was like, oh my God, I just totally overdid it. It's, if you've ever tried the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, that's what it reminds me of. So I'm sort of undecided. I need more time with it, but it's very expensive for a very small amount of products. But if you have any recommendations for a, an eco makeup setting spray, I don't want anything that's water-based or I want something that has more humectants in it, like aloe and things like that. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna get the Jordan Samuel Hydrate Mist for that purpose. So this would just be like an additional product to what I already needed. So it'd be like two products taking the place of one. So I don't know. Okay, then the other thing is part of my lip color quest. 
I decided to try one of these Hourglass Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipsticks solely because I saw the beauty professor talk about these in her Best of Beauty and she was wearing the shade that I ended up buying because I thought it looked so good on her. It's called No One Knows. Looks super pretty in the bullet. It's it, on her, it just looked like the perfect peachy pink. And on me, it's too peach. Or maybe I'm just not used to seeing myself in these sorts of shades, but I tried it on yesterday. I tried it on this morning alone. I tried it on layered with the K or Weiss and I think it's too peach. Like, I don't know. What do you think? I think it's too peachy. The formula is also like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm going to return it because it was like 32 bucks. So that was an impulse purchase that perhaps I should not have made. I'm just going to use one of these bloom wipes so that I don't get these swatches on my shirt cuff. Okay, then the next thing I decided to get also an impulse purchase and I'm also sort of regretting is I wanted to try this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer because it was like literally in everybody, like non-eco, like regular beauty bloggers. It was in like everybody's best of beauty 2017. They were just raving about it. So I was like, what the heck? I needed a new concealer, which you'll you'll see in my beauty list order as well. So I just kind of wanted to try something new. I went for the shade Creme Brulee, which actually is my color. Um, it was good with the color match. I tried this this morning and I thought it was okay. Um, it's a little heavier coverage than I'm typically used to wearing under my eyes, um, but the formula is nice. It's heavier, a little bit more makeup-y, I guess, than I'm just personally used to. So if you want like a fuller, heavier coverage and having it come from a clean brand isn't that important to you, I guess this could be an option. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna return it, which I just feel so bad about you guys. Like maybe I just need to stop ordering, like impulse ordering makeup. I'm having guilt doing this actually, doing this video. I decided to try the Chlorine Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk, just the travel size. Also again, doing a ton of traveling. So I thought it would be a good idea to get one of these, um, especially cause I hate washing my hair when I am not at home. <laughs> So, you know, I've heard good things about this. We'll see. Um, I think I just like, I really don't like dry shampoo, but it's kind of a necessary evil. Along the lines of hair, I'm in, I'm gonna start needing to buy some new hair care. I need new shampoo and conditioner. I need a good clarifying shampoo. If anyone has recommendations for that, I was like, should I just get a mini of like the Bumble and Bumble Sunday? Are there any good eco clarifying shampoos? Um, I need one. Let me know. Just a few samples. I got the Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser as a sample. And then this was like a deluxe sample with a code. It's the Sashwan Hair Repair. I think it's like a hair treatment. So we'll see. I don't really use these kind of products because my hair is not dry. In fact, it needs like clarifying, honestly. It gets a lot of buildup like around the scalp. So I don't know, maybe for my ends, we'll see. At the same time I placed that, I also placed a little Beautylish order. And the only reason actually is because the product that I wanted was out of stock on Sephora, but it also gave me the excuse to order something else I had been wanting for a while. So this is the thing that was not on Sephora, but that I needed. I really like how they do their packaging. It is really nice. I can't be without this. It's the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer in light. And it was out of stock on Sephora, which goes to show you how good it is. And I am in the red on my current one. It lasted about a year. This product is fantastic. It's in my best of beauty, highly recommend it. So. You know, this was really like frankly just a very frivolous purchase because I knew I was gonna have this back in my life and just kind of wanted to try something else. Beauty junkie got the best of me. Okay, and then to get free shipping, I was actually very close also to buying the Care Weiss foundation to include in my lineup, but honestly guys, I'm not sure I'm going to. I got another makeup brush. This is one I've been wanting for quite a long time, and it is the Wayne Goss Airbrush. I So many people use this, like Karima McKimmy loves it, uh, Beauty Professor loves it, it's, oh my gosh, it's so soft. Yeah, they're not similar at all. This is the Kitten Paw Multi Brush, and this is the Airbrush. 
This is actually like a sort of a flattened version of the Wayne Goss O2, which is my favorite brush of all time. You can do, I mean, these are all sort of like multi-purpose products, but what I will use them for are things like setting, detailed setting, because I don't like to look powdery. I like to look very, very glowy, very precise highlighting, things like that. So I will have these like for a lifetime, I'm hoping, with good care. Uh, so very good investments for me. I just think that Wayne Goss does some of the most beautiful brushes on the market, and I've been so happy with the ones that I have. Um, I haven't tried any of his the ones with white hair. I, I don't they must be goat, but these are squirrel hair again, I believe. One quick thing that my sister got me that I wanted to share because it's like a style thing that I'm gonna try and pull off. I think I've mentioned it to you guys before. So I was on the train, like riding the subway to work one morning over the summer and I saw this girl who I had like an immediate girl crush on because of her style. She looked so cute. She was wearing like all black and like a t-shirt and black jeans and her makeup was kind of very 1950s and she kind of had like side swept bangs and a ponytail and she was wearing a neckerchief. It was like tied like this. Um, I look like a cowboy right now, but I'm sure you can envision it. I asked for like a neck scarf to do like a, like a little silk scarf so I could do the neckerchief look or try to. And this is the one that my sister got me. It's from Banana Republic. I think the print is so gorgeous. It's like she knows my sort of like coloring and stuff. Um, it's this really pretty kind of like neutral, almost cool toned gray with this re these really pretty pops of red. So I'm gonna try and wear a neckerchief. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, you know? Like I'm always trying to not have boring style. And I think because, especially having like a capsule wardrobe and wearing a lot of neutrals, it's like dressing your look up with accessories like this and fun makeup is kind of how I derive pleasure from fashion, I guess. One quick thing before we get to the giveaway stuff. So I just wanted to give like a huge shout out to my Aesop shopping experience. I wanted to buy products for a man in my life. I got the recommendation to go to Aesop. I feel like Aesop is a very good sort of uh, bridge, I guess, between conventional and more natural. You know, like the scents are much more like natural smelling and not so synthetic. I went into the Aesop on Newbury Street in Boston and you guys, I have not had such good customer service in a really long time to the point where it was like no, it was just noteworthy. I wanted to like make some stories and stuff about it right after but it, like I had to give this person the gift first and now I want to gu just gush about how good the experience was. The person who attended to me was just extremely attentive and not in a pushy way, super super helpful. I drank tea while I shopped, he answered all my questions and I ended up curating what I thought was a very nice gift. I just feel like it's so commendable in this day and age when you get really good in-person customer service that it, it's kind of like really noteworthy. That's how I feel about beauty heroes too. It's like, I think we're just so used to a culture now of people not having like a human connection, not paying a lot of attention that when you get it, you're like, oh my gosh, this is like really incredible. And then he also gave me some samples of um, the Parsley Seed Antioxidant Facial Hydrating Cream and the Blue Chamomile Facial Hydrating. Now let's end on the giveaway stuff. Actually, I guess I could show you guys this too. This came to me right before, like uh, maybe a week and a half or so before Christmas. So I did an Instagram post on it, but I don't think I've talked about it in video. It's the Mahalo Winter Grace Collection. I have been, you know, working with Mahalo kind of in, I guess sort of like an influencer or an ambassador context for a number of years. They'll send me some of their stuff when it launches sometimes, not every time, but sometimes they do. So they sent me the Winter Grace collection, which I thought was just absolutely stunning. If you'd like to see it in action, I did demo the products in a the December patron exclusive video. I did a Sunday skincare routine, Get Unready With Me. I used the Winter Grace toner as well as the Winter Grace Serum, which is in my bathroom, because I'm using it. And then I think I also showed the Winter Grace Balm. This set is still available. I'll have um, details down below if you'd like to pick it up. Uh, it also comes with a facial steam, a gua sha stone, so pretty, green jade gua sha stone, as well as it's like a locally loomed um, towel in Hawaii, I think, and it's meant to be used to tent your face for a facial steam. So I think that that's like a really pretty touch. 
Okay, then in the box they sent me, they also included, this is not part of the Winter Grace set, but they sent me um, a full-size petal mask. I think because Marina knows that in the past I have really loved this product, but to be honest, since they reformulated it, I've tried several versions and have not liked it. Um, as much. So this is completely fresh and unopened and I want to send it to somebody who would like to try it and get to use it. Now, I don't quite know what happened. The jar did split. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But that should hopefully not affect the product inside at all. So this I would like to send to somebody and then Inner Sense wanted to send me a little Christmas present, which I thought was really nice. So they sent me their hydrating hair mask and I was accidentally sent two. They sent me one directly and then another one came in a Beauty Heroes box because I think they wanted to try and send it through Beauty Heroes. I don't know, it was a little snafu in uh, communication, but I somehow wound up with two. So I haven't tried it yet. I am gonna keep one for myself, but I would love to send this to someone as well. So I think I'm probably just gonna do a bundle. Uh, we'll do this. I'll include the uh, Juice Beauty Gift with Purchase and Well People Mascara and there's probably honestly other little brand new unopened bits and bobs I have that I would be happy to throw in. This is becoming like a bigger giveaway than I thought. For things that I have actually like tested, PR samples I've tested lightly and used minimally, I offer those up to people on Patreon and send them to them totally free of charge. But for things that are um, brand, although I do do some brand new things on Patreon too, but all this stuff is totally brand new and unopened, untouched, and I would like to open it up to everybody and host this giveaway on Instagram. So I will have a post up with all the details of how to enter. I hope that you're interested in it. I would like for it to go to a good home. So that's everything. Uh, I'm very happy to get through all of that. Uh, I feel like I really could use your help, to be honest, in these different categories of product recommendations that I've been querying about throughout this video. So nude pinky lip liners in particular, really like full coverage opaque nude lipsticks, although I think I already know what I'm going to try next in all those categories. Um, makeup setting sprays, shampoos, clarifying shampoos. Those are kind of the main things I think that I need right now. Otherwise, um, I'm sitting pretty with my beauty product stash. Super excited to do my clear out declutter, which will probably be the next video you see from me. Hope you enjoyed seeing how I spent my hard earned dollars. Actually, a lot of this was, you know, Christmas money funded, I guess you could say. It is what it is. I'll keep you guys updated on like Instagram, usually through stories is how I will update on products and stuff. So I'll update you on like what I keep from the Sephora order, how I continue to get on with stuff like this and and all of it. So thank you so, so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video sooner rather than later. I'll, I'll get my butt in gear and keep trying to do two videos a week because once a week just doesn't feel like enough interaction. I, I really want to do two a week. So I'll see you soon. Bye.